Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Sid Meier's Civilization VI. And this time, we are going to be checking out the brand new civilization, Portugal, led by Zhao III, which I'm pretty sure is not how you pronounce his name, but when do I ever pronounce anything right? We are going to be playing with the randomized tech tree over here. Uh, apparently, Zhao is quite potent. Portugal is quite potent with a lot of ability to make a ton of money. Obviously, um, they have a very naval focus, so it would be silly to play them on a Pangea map or something like that, because we really wouldn't get to see most of their features. But some people said, well, maybe not overdo it. So rather than play on something like Archipelago, for example, I've decided to play on Small Continents, which we must have played on before, but I have no specific memory of. So um, your typical Continents map, which I like a lot as a default, it just feels good. It, there's a reason it's set as the default. Um, normally in a Continents map, you have two fairly large continents, maybe a few little islands. Uh, with small continents, theoretically, we're going to have more sort of medium to small sized islands slash continents to play with. And that might be a good balance. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to a large size map. In fact, do I want to go to huge? Let's go huge. Some, someone had made a request last time that let's just go with like the craziest, biggest map that we can on the next let's play so let's go ahead and do this now i'm wondering how this is going to scale to small continents i don't know if that's just going to make you know the same number of continents but it'll effectively be bigger i don't know if we're going to end up with more continents slash islands which is probably been more beneficial to us we'll see how it goes we're going to go with the randomized tech tree so i'm not turning on any of the other game modes well the corporation's pretty on brand maybe for what some of the things are going on here um, the, the Barbarians clan mode didn't seem to have much of an impact one way or another. I, I might just leave it off. I don't know. Uh, the zombie defense does sound interesting, but isn't, I think, what we're going to be doing for the theme today. So, we're going to be going on deity difficulty, epic game speed, which is a little slower than, uh, your average. A uh, huge map with small continents. Now, this means that our, the turn processing time is going to be longer, because, um, there's going to be a lot more AIs doing stuff, there's going to be a lot more cities counting stuff, so, um... Yeah, that, that's going to be a little on the slower side. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually tempted. I think I'm going to max out the city-states because I like city-states. So I think we'll do that. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Um, in terms of victory conditions, I don't think I want to go domination because I think that's going to be a lot of work. But um, so what does that leave? Probably in terms of convenience for traveling, a space victory would be fairly convenient or diplomatic one, which would be interesting with so many extra people vying for it. Um, cultural is also a possibility, depending on how we get wonders. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's let Sini Beanie do his thing. Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Jalal the Third. You stand for your beliefs and guide others hmm. to them. As you Joe, Joey, and Joy Tree. Beyond your shores, bring prosperity back to your people so that they may experience new ways of being unlike any seen before. Excellent. So um, I, we'll, uh, we'll we'll check out the Civilopedia once we get into the game over here to actually look at uh, Portugal's ability and what there just is. How do we feel about our start? We've got some stone right away. We've got, wow. All right, we've got a lot of interesting things going on. This actually feels pretty good. We're clearly near the, near the South Pole. That's very interesting. Oh, Civilopedia. Yes. Let's take a look at Portugal. Bam. Um, so, Portugal. We've got a few unique, we've got a couple of unique uh, building type things. We've got a unique uh, unit, as most things do. And we've got Casa da India. So, international trade routes can only reach cities on the coast or with a harbor. So, when we send international trade routes, so not internal trade routes, they can go over land, but international ones can only go over the sea, which is one of the reasons why coastal cities are going to be very important for us. And hopefully, the AI can creates a lot of them so that we can have some valuable trade routes. Uh, we get a 50% boost with uh with all the yields 50 percent boost to our trade routes that's amazing and we get greater range um and can embark as soon as they are unlocked so our trade routes our international trade routes are going to be substantially more valuable the other thing that's interesting so we get the now over here which replaces the caravel gets a free promotion less maintenance all those things are cool but one of the big things with this is that it has two charges to build fatorias now if we back up over here and check out fatoria this is a special unique 
tile improvement. Um, and what's weird about this one is this is just stuff we build in foreign territory. So it provides plus four gold and plus one production. Trade routes sent to the city from Portugal gain plus four gold, plus one production. So we build tile improvements in other people's territory, but then when we trade with those cities, we get a ton more money and production from those trade routes, making super uber valuable trade routes. Can only be built adjacent to luxury or bonus resources in territory belonging to other civilizations or city states that we have open borders with, uh, must be built on the coast or lake tile adjacent to land and not adjacent to another Fetora. They can't be removed. So our opponents will not be able to remove these once they are down. Um, we can put multiple per city, but it's going to be a little tricky given the placement re uh, restrictions um and yeah we get free charges with our caravel replacement so that is really different and interesting navigation school over here unique building to portugal 25 percent production towards naval units plus one science for every two coast or lake tiles in the city more great admiral points i mean again it would be pretty foolish to play portugal on a map with no water because you're not really getting uh, much in the way of benefits over here so this uh replaces the university over here um and yeah, so it, it gives us what the university does. It still gives us some science and things. As far as I know, that part is unchanged. Uh, but we can get extra science for coastal tiles. So, And it doesn't have to be adjacent, right? I was going to say, oh, this is going to change the position of our campus. No, it doesn't. It gives us science for coast or lake tiles in the city, regardless of the campus location, which is great. And then, yeah, the uh, the production boost is just uh, extra nice. And some extra great uh, generals or great admirals is going to be handy. I don't know it's going back to the... Uh, wrong pages i guess it's based on what we last clicked on hmm, that's weird um okay so that's it for portugal itself but then we've got joao jojo over here um all his units get plus one site and we get plus one trade capacity when a civilization is met so we're gonna get um 11 extra trade routes just from meeting everyone else in the game which is gonna be pretty sick we get automatic open borders with all city states which is convenient the other thing is to build fetoras in city states uh we need to have open borders so we've got that for free so um again really 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 fantastically useful and helpful and i like this start quite a bit actually if we go and uh slap down found city i think we'll go here and remove the the wood that's going to be okay we get the eureka towards sailing right away hey what does our tech tree look like it's all randomized we don't know right um revealing sailing is handy because at least we know where it is um it's often a high priority for me to make sure we get archery so that we can defend ourselves against barbarians that's the thing the randomized tech tree on on deity is going to be hard af because um there's a lot of key text especially early right because on deity the first 10 to 30 turns you could just insta lose the wrong barbarian camp or happening to be near the wrong um uh, civilization. In fact, virtually any civilization that you, if you start too close to them, they'll just whoop you because they start with a bunch of extra units right away. So you can get like instantly deleted at the start of a, um, um, at, at that start of a deity game. Um, we will, what kind of tiles do we have kicking around? It would be nice maybe to mine the stone right away. We need irrigation here. We need sailing, uh, which we have the Eureka for, um, Maybe what I'll do, well, the sooner we get sailing, I mean, thematically, it would make a lot of sense. I don't know. I kind of want to be able to build that quarry right away. So I think I'll pick up mining ASAP. All right. I kind of like that. Um, now, the build order might be different here. Normally on deity, you know, I prioritize getting an extra warrior and slinger right away because of early barbarians. But with here, there might not be a lot of land for us to worry about. I think I'm going to take the greedy route here and get a builder right away and hope that there's just not going to be that much barbarian or other AI threat, uh, given what this is looking like right here. I don't, again, I don't know if I've played on the small continents map before, so I'm not entirely sure what, what it's actually going to feel like. Okay, there's more territory here than I was expecting. We could just change our builder. Maybe I should still get a slinger, maybe not a second warrior. No, I'm, I'm going to go greed. I'm going to get the builder first. It is it is very greedy. Money input. Um, I don't think we're going to do that much with this gold as is. I can't afford another unit right away, but it is kind of nice. All right, well, there's Barbarian there. Luckily, not too close. Okay, there's a lot of land we're connected to. Oh, they're fighting a city-state. I think that's probably a city-state. That particular color. Yeah, city-state meeting bonus, another tribal village, uh, train an archer quest. Okay, that's fine. 
And actually, they're going to keep this Barbarian camp under control. We actually might be able to finish it, which would be nice. And we want to go this way anyway, because there's a goodie hut. Now, most of them worried about Barbarian spawning over here and seeing Lisbon. I don't think I can get the kill. No, let me just pop this first. Eureka writing. That's convenient because it's actually going to reveal parts of our tree over here. I mean, we probably would have gotten that one anyway, eventually. So hopefully the attack, but not kill. Ah! Boo. Oh well. That happens. Did we meet another city-state? Oh, Johannesburg. Okay. Pop up over here. Keep working there. Oh, I didn't actually check the tiles that are being worked here. How do I feel about that? Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's as good as we're going to get. All right. Although, once we get access to the rice, we might work it just to be able to grow a little faster. It's going to be moot, actually, because our population is going to grow, and we'll be able to work a couple of these good tiles. All right. I might want to send my unit back to guard over here and just fog bust versus barbarians. Flash not be too far away. When you find yourself in a hole... Now, what did you reveal, mining? It's interesting that, like, with the tech unlocking, the biggest thing, we're like, hmm, what is this going to show us? Um, does, okay, hold on. Does the number of religions available change? Huh. On a larger map. Because there's more sibs, so do they give us the ability to have more religions? I don't think they do. So it's going to be that much more competitive to get it. And I don't think we're going to be going for it. Um, I'm going to pick up, I guess, Animal Husbandry now. Getting the early wonders on Deity is basically impossible. Totally impossible. Because of um, the AI starting with such a big tech boost. And with 12 of them, competing for wonders is going to be that much harder. Well, I mean, 11 opponents, but so 12 of us in total. Sorry about that. Uh, bing, bing. Mute that tab. And then again, you get browser tabs that decide, I must make noise now. Thank you very much for that. Um, so I'm kind of curious about this. Partially, I think I'm, I'm waiting this maybe a little more than uh, I should because I'm used to Animal has really leading to Archery. Archery might be here. It could be It could be any of these places as well. Um, but Sailing's pretty valuable. So I think going to Animal Husbandry, if nothing else, to unlock Sailing is kind of legit. Okay, I think I'm going to bring my warrior over here for now. I might just stand him in the forest kind of keep an eyeball out it is not wisdom code of laws we want immediately we may as well run discipline we don't have any recon units we don't have any barbarians right now but i'm sure there'll be more then we want to run god king because we want to unlock a pantheon as quickly as possible that is a very standard um and in terms of this oh this has been randomized too yeah <sighs> military tradition leading to think oh man we have no idea I might just do some half research. I suppose military tradition might be the one I'm more likely to Eureka as these things spawn in. So maybe I'll do that. Now you're probably working the second, um, there you go, the second turtle, which is correct for now. Yeah, you just chill over here for now. We will get some military units after the builder. We'll probably get one slinger and then go into a settler. I mean, it's possible because there's not that much space over here. I don't actually know the code for determining how barbarians spawn. It's possible that there won't be that many barbarian spawn places, you know, because of the way this this is. Like, there's there's lots of space over there. I don't know if it counts per tile or per area, but we might just be able to put down some quick early settlers and um um. And, and just prevent barbarians from being a problem in the first place. Okay, we're going to improve quarry, which will give me another Eureka, which reveals things. So we know masonry is over here. You know, does that change how we want to navigate the tree? Well, Animal Husbandry is going to finish in one turn, so that's going to be okay. Um, hmm. Do we go right into a settler here? Ultimate greed start. I feel like I want one slinger. Because it would be nice to get the Eureka from killing something with a slinger. Uh, we might need help clearing a barbarian encampment, and it's slightly safer. Animal Husbandry is done, revealing there's archery. I will feel a lot better. I don't think we have to rush these, this sailing tech, even though clearly we're going to want it fairly soon, but not right away. I'm going to feel a lot better if I have archery at least part research so that we can uh, accelerate the boost later on.
So yeah, you can't embark over there. Um, I believe this is going to expand in just one turn, isn't it? Oh, 12 turns. Never mind. Maybe I should buy this tile now. I am going to buy this tile. Because it will be actually quite nice for us to work this tile, get extra food. But Eureka is something else. And Eurekas are always valuable, but I feel like they're going to be even more valuable now because of the tech tree reveal so we know pottery leads into irrigation which leads into writing we've got boosts all the way there which is going to be convenient i mean getting a campus up is obviously going to be gorgeous especially once we get to universities we build our unique building that gives us a bunch more tech um from our coastal sites which is going to be good because actually on this map adjacency bonuses for campuses camp i are going to be campari something like that uh are going to be that much more difficult to get because, um, do I wanna? I should probably just wait until I can go to the sea. Um, because there's not gonna be as many mountains and potentially not as many rainforests, right? It's gonna be a little bit of a flatter map because of the way I think they generate the, you know, tectonics and whatnot. I'm just gonna sleep you. I know there is a, uh, a boost for improving our third tile, but we can just go and sleep you for a little bit. So no barbarian encampments have spawned yet within anywhere that we can see, which is interesting. So yeah, I think we are going to get a lower rate. I think I'm still happy about getting the Slinger here. But um, we are going to definitely go for a Settler next. And I'm, I am happy I went Builder. Hold on, are we actually working this tile? I don't think we are. Which, I guess because it's thinking the money is better, but I disagree. I think slightly more production is a little bit more what we want. Uh, rainfall, need housing. Lisbon doesn't have free, uh, it doesn't have fresh water. That's that's true. That might be a bit... Oh, Hello! Okay. Come on down. At least this guy actually won't be able to spot the city. Won't be able to wake up the barbarian encampment. There's the great bath. We don't have the tech for it. There's more room here. Um, a canal city might be very, very, very worthwhile. Except we can't place it. We can't place cities here. I guess we can just build our own canal. But that, that might be really useful for moving our ships around. Okay, I absolutely 100% want a settler at this point. Um, how do I feel about all these tiles? Still thinks the gold is more important. It's actually quite confusing how it decides to do this. Well, okay, since the housing um, is, is approaching the cap, we're actually getting a... Uh, a malice to our food production right now so running this rice tile actually is less valuable for now so i think i might agree with the uh, the tile placement as is where's the actual camp there that's weird um i'll have to move the slinger down here because we would like to get a kill with the slinger to eureka archery although speaking of i should have switched out let's go and run pottery here there's the camp it's gonna take a while for the slinger to get there Meanwhile, other barbarians might spawn over here, which might be a little bit annoying with our settler. I think this will time out okay. Unless it decides to kill itself by attacking my warrior, but I guess we could just wait for another unit to spawn at that point. Bravery is being the only one. Um Yeah, I still can't do that. I guess I researched directly through this. That was kind of a mistake, actually. Mysticism. Um, I think we'll we might just hard research uh, foreign trade quite intentionally because it might take a while before we actually discover a second continent. Which we haven't yet. These are just other islands, I suppose. Yeah, we could have Eureka um, the clear an encampment. Now, are you gonna kill him? Only if we get a really bad roll. Or a really good roll. Survive with one HP for a change. Intentionally. Perfect. May the forces of evil be Boom. That completes archery for us. So that's that's good. I think we did uh, over research it by one turn. Well, because um if we if we hadn't researched one extra turn, completing this would give us the boost to archery, wouldn't have finished archery, but might have overflowed the tech in a slightly better way. So we we sort of wasted a couple of tech points, that's all. I clear that encampment. We wasted that boost earlier by researching through it, which is my mistake. I'm going to run you home here. No man ever wetted. Pottery's a go. So, uh, plantation, this is what we need over here, right? Yes, okay. So, that sounds great to me. We can get plantation so that we can improve something, and that will lead to writing, and I think that's exactly the order of things we're going to go in. 
Um, yeah, you can you can come come back home ish somewhere. I know I sent the slinger to the same place. That's okay. So I'm actually gonna sleep you here. Well, I'm not sleeping. I'm doing the space bar you so I don't miss the turn when I can improve this tile. Yeah, might just go right through on foreign trade. Right, you are still around, so we'll kill you. Get more progression towards kill barbarian unit stuff. Um, yes to upgrading you to an archer right away. Oh, right, which completes a city uh, quest. They wanted an archer. Oh, that's actually really convenient. Um, maybe, oh, you got a promotion? Okay, I can move you here. You still have motion, so we're going to give you Battle Cry. Again, early on, I like Battle Cry for my melee units, and then later on, I like to give them the, uh, the cover versus, versus uh, ranged attacks, because it makes it easier to take cities. But early on, we just need actual fighting force. Keep sitting there. Orange trade. So I could just cycle out. Might still make sense. Allows creation of trade routes, but we don't actually have the cap for it yet. Um, yeah, let me switch out for a little bit. Um, we've got to think, actually, Preserve Tech might be really nice this game. We are going to get a Pantheon soon, so we can go ahead and run that. You're fully healed, so I'm going to send you forward. You're going to wait there. I'll probably park you somewhere roughly over in this area. Yeah, I like that. Um, you're not going to get much more vision by moving forward here. I'm trying to decide where to park you. Because um, I, I want to put a city down over here. We just want to creep forward a little bit. So it's not pure exploration that we're prioritizing at this at the moment. We're just sort of doing some fog busting to prevent barbarians from showing up. So Stonehenge has Thousands been built. That's fine. Without love. Not one. Irrigation is ready to go. Pop plantation. Giving us a boost towards craftsmanship, which is nice. We've got our first settler. So... I mean, we're going to want to settle down here, but there's not really any competition. There might be competition further up here. It's nice that we can get some fresh water in a few places. Um, obviously, we want a lot of coastal cities, but they don't actually have to be truly coastal, as long as they can still build harbors. The trade routes and everything will still work properly, the sea trade routes. So, like, if I settled here, I could build a harbor there. If I build my, um, if I build my city here, then this harbor would be more valuable. Right, because the plus two adjacency. So it mostly comes down to what do I prefer, the fresh water or the slightly more valuable harbor in the long run. I think the fresh water value is going to be pretty nice. It also lets us work more inland paths. I guess what it comes down to a little bit is where I might want to stick all my various cities. And avoid having them getting each other's way. I think I'm going to settle here. We'll get to work the horse tile right away. Um, so the city, before like before it expands its tiles, before it does anything else, before things are improved, it's actually going to have a really excellent city tile to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately just start with that. And I think I'm going to be pleased with it. You're going to chill over there. That's going to be okay. What are you building next? I think I kind of agree that spamming out another settler is actually the way to go. We get such a low housing cap. It's not like we want to grow Lisbon too much first because it's not really going to work. We get a scout. Um, there's not that much for it to scout, although this continent is surprisingly large. Uh, and at some point, it will be able to embark. We could also pop down a monument just to get a little bit of culture points, the granary to increase the pop cap. But no, I think I like the idea of another settler immediately. You just wait over there for a little bit longer. The other thing is we could get another builder right away, but... Uh, so, oops, I didn't mean alert, actually. I meant, uh, Fort account to heal. Um, yeah, you go on alert. And exploration is nice, especially finding more goody huts is nice. But right now, I just kind of want to prevent barbarians from spawning here. Or, do we want to kill more barbarians? Because, I mean, you can farm them for XP. You can, you get gold from popping them. 
No, I think I'm okay with just preventing them from spawning here. There's gonna be plenty of places where barbarians can still spawn. So we're gonna found another city. Beha. Excellent. Um I'm tempted. I think monument or builder is the way to start in this city. I think builder is correct. Can I actually just purchase a builder? 320. It'll take a little while. I think I'm going to start building a builder anyway and still buy one. Because it still makes a lot of sense to accelerate things that way. I'm a little less worried about keeping you here. I think I will send you out to do some exploration this way. But yeah, keep this area clear so we can settle it a little faster. All right, Pantheon. All right, not River. We're not going to do early wonder spam because we've got so much competition. We always do, but it's going to be worse here in Deity. Um, Divine Spark is always good to get extra great people points. Marsh Oasis Desert Floodplains, not really a thing for us. God of the Sea seems to be the no-brainer. I mean, it's amazing that it's still there. Um, yeah, let, let's just get God of the Sea for the extra production. Oh, there is seven religions available. Okay, so more people equals more religions. Um... I'm still not going to pursue them because they are hard to get on deity and tend to be a bit of a mistake, but it's going to be all right. We've got the boost. We've got the boost. We're going to complete writing, um, but then we are definitely going to be looking to be able to embark some builders so we can get our fishing boats. Not that we have a builder queued up yet. I think Lisbon will build a builder after this um, new city. Yay, goody huts. Head over there. Someone has built the Oracle. Again, we're really not going to be competing for early oracles. Um, plus one envoy. Uh, there's Well, I guess we can get the first suzerain ship. Gain some free culture. That's actually kind of nice. What do you want? Train the spearman. Okay, let's do that. We'll become first suzerain, which will give us arrow score. Which maybe will be... I don't know, actually. I think I might have preferred a dark age here, since I don't think loyalty is an issue early on. And it would be nice to golden age. Political philosophy boost is good. These things have already boosted, which is nice as well. Welcome. Hello, Teddy. So we share a piece of land, but not real. Like, there's a big divide here. The mountains, the city-states, you're quite far away. This is kind of sort of ideal here. But uh, I do think it means that expanding into this area for settling is going to be good. Just to make sure that we have it for ourselves. Um... Yeah, I'll pop down this way and see what we can see. I was going to say, maybe we'll find extra goody huts. Trade your capacity went up right away. Of course, because we met another civilization and we are Portugal. Um, I can't actually build trade routes yet. We could spend save the money to buy that, but I think the correct thing is just to buy a builder and get that rocking as early as possible. Oh! Or maybe we'll just get a free trader unit. Thank you very much. And yes, run it internally over here for the food and production to our new city. And we'll get a little road. This Eureka is something else. We're going to get more vision, which is good. Hang gardens and build. That's going to be fine. Tech boost over there. Okay. So we need two more era score. Although we may not care again about the era exactly. Um, I think I kind of want to pull back. It, luckily, with Ayutthaya over here, actually, this is going to be pretty clear for barbarians. I guess I can afford to peek up this hill and see what we can see, and then we'll turn around. You're going to come over here and absolutely 100% pasture the horses, which will give us another Eureka, and is generally a really good tile to work, which I'm assuming we've been working. Um, I don't have anything locked over here. I don't, and I think we're fine with this. Again, um, when you get the population... Actually, it's population 4 to slow down. I guess we could get a bit more growth, but... No, I think I'm okay with these tiles. Sure. Um, chopping trees for production boost is generally going to be okay, but we can probably wait a little bit before we do it. Au nom du peuple oh! canadien, bienvenue. Je suis le. I didn't know that Portugal was part of North America, right next to Canada and the United States. Whoa! What the? This must. This continent must continue to snake through here. It's the only explanation. I didn't realize I was on the. It went. I, you know, it doesn't say small continents. It says snaky continents. Apparently, writing is easy. Well, how interesting is this? Huh. Okay, let's get sailing. 
And let's put a cut in here. My, my, my. Well, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're excited for this new series. I'm really excited to see how Portugal plays. Um, and this map is going to be fantastic. Again, we're playing on a huge map. Uh, you know, 12 civs out there. Well, including us. Um, and I think I said, what, 24 city-states? So it's going to be full of city-states, um, which might be more trading partners for us. Because that would be the ideal, right? Is we build our unique buildings from our boats, whether the Feitoras or whatever, in city-states, and then send the trade routes to there. Um, that way we don't give a bonus to anyone else. But... I don't know. I think we're going to be we're going to be pretty eager about trading with just about anyone for maximum uh, cash. So that'll be great. I'm loving this map. It's feeling really, really good. I like how we're going to have control over the straight over here. If we can go, you know, and build a bunch of canals and things, it's going to be good. Um, clearly, our naval advantages are going to come into play here, but maybe not as excessively as the archipelago. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I hope you are, too. If you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe and hitting the like button and commenting. All those things really, really do help out a lot with the, the yub tub algorithms and all that kind of jazz. So other than that, I guess I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye bye.